ball on that one, I have to say. Maybe made me laugh. Do you want to try it? Try the face again. I was trying to do a sexy face. Hold on, let's try again. You don't even know how. Is that good? That was actually pretty good. Come on. Come on. That was good. Stewie 2K is my vote. Just yeah. like everybody else. Yeah. I thought it might be. Anyway, it's going to be Dignitas with Sesame Gaming. My money after seeing the map, but I'm saying 2-0 Dignitas. I'm going I, there. This is an interesting thing. We got a cash. This is a map SK don't play traditionally. Yeah. They bring in Fox. Okay, he's had experience on it with FaZe. But why, why wouldn't you, when you sell a Dust 2 in the pool, why not go to Dust 2? Obviously, Dignitas is good on it. Maybe that's why they want to leave it in late, but then it gets banned out. It's one of their sure. better maps. Cobblestone was there. Now, I agree Cobblestone with Fox coming in. Probably not the best bet, but there, there were so many options available to them in this situation that they could have easily picked up instead. The problem SK have got right now, right? They've just got this. Both these teams are playing with mercenaries. Dignitas, though, have come out in much better form. And in terms of like the replacement they've got, they've lost Magus Boy, right? But they've brought in Vald, another insanely good rifler, right? And it slots in perfectly. You Danish go with as well, plays with them on a regular basis. Exactly, right? Then you go to the other side with bringing in Fox for FNX. Definitely not the same roles. Like, Fox is like a hybrid kind of AWPA, not the best rifler, kind of support player. D certainly doesn't fit the same mold as FNX. And yeah. that, that is a massive problem. That's why the map pool is going to be limited. They've had not just changing one player for this team, changes the, the entire layout. Though, Henry, right? Speaks does, the same language. Speaks the same language, yep. That's fine. <laughs> That's about <laughs> all I can think yep. of, really. Um, but it means that it, is, it has a, a ripple effect across the whole map in terms of their CD setups as well. That's going to be a problem for them. He can't play the same position as FNX cards, so they have to adjust everything. And he's having to do secondary orb instead of Cold Zera. So it just kind of discombobulates the entire team. Of, and Dignitas, nothing really changes bringing up a sick rifle in to slot in. And the weird thing is, moving forward, they said Astralis are going to be sitting and, you know, kind of, we don't really care who we play. Yeah. I actually think Dignitas would have a better chance against them just because it's a domestic matchup. Yeah, I would agree. And Valda plays, as we said, is the better slot and plays a little bit more with all of those players, so he still knows what to expect from Astralis sure. as well. So I actually think Dignitas getting through could be a little bit more interesting in that sense, but SK, you're right, switching away from the double op on Cold Zero, can't let him go off the leash and get aggressive anymore. Fox definitely didn't have the economy or the positional control inside of the B site when we saw them on overpass yesterday. Yeah. It was it's very all over the place in terms of communication. It's not so much for me like criticizing Fox so much, he just doesn't fit the mold for this particular scenario. Like it's not like I'm not it's saying not like he's not good enough, right? It's it. like this, the, the time to fit him in and actually the roles he plays, this just doesn't really work. The recipe's not quite there for me. They can still, they've done well to get to this stage in the tournament, but we'll see whether they can actually step up the Dignitas. Best yeah. thing they can take away from this is a notebook of things they need to improve and how they want to implement yeah. him because the they are apparently confirmed going to be using him for the Major, and that comes up not long after the new year begins, end of, well, mid to late January in Atlanta, so... They'll have to get him on board quite quickly. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, the final game of this evening, Dignitas versus SK Gaming. It is going to be cash to kick things off here. SK Gaming starting on the T side. Three sets of armor, two smokes, and four flashbangs to go work with him. Valder, he's going very, very aggressive towards B storage, and he's looking for that first pick. Does spot a T there, but... He's going to stay committed towards Sunrun. That's a great position to go in. You can see on the minimap right now on the top left, CD's rotating off towards B. As long as he can stay alive, they can justify this. It's actually a real nice play from the CT so far. He's fallen back. Interesting. I was, I was going to say, no contact play. You think he'd sit around until they get some information. Yeah, I would have thought so. Immediately backs off. Interesting. Well then. In terms of the smokes, this will be the smokes towards potentially highway and the bomb site, the left-hand side of it. Try and cover the squeaky door with main entrance flashes as well. There's the first smoke that actually lands towards B. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a, a fake coming in. I see what's going on here. Cold Zero smokes towards B, and maybe it's going to be a little bit different. Towards A, they do go to commit. You saw it. They didn't quite, but they didn't overcommit to B either, so they are in the rotations quick enough. MSL's trying to do damage where he can without committing. Without his teammates close by, MSL's the only one with a kit as well, so technically he's there. Oh, no, the headshot presents Hello. itself. Cajun does spot it. Looked a moment as if he couldn't quite see Fur, but he does connect. He can get aggressive, try and spar off with Taco, who holds the line. Fox gonna find another kill potentially as well because low HP in front, good shot, MSL gets caught, wraps back around, they're all charging in on Taco. But all that really does is serve to SK to buy more time and the rest of their positions in this post plant. It's planet default wrapped around the corner. They'll have to face when the defuse comes in and they're already on top of it now. The low HP, it is gonna be Rubino. He's picked up the kit, he's got it already. Cold can't get in position in time. What are those positions when they've got a bomb down in that sort of scenario? Got quad, at least one got player. One squeaky door, one in main entrance. You've got to have some control of the bomb. You can't sit back there, especially when Dignitas has that kit as well. I was, the point I was going to make, I thought there was, that was going to run away with it until I saw the plant. When Valda had that position in Sunroom, I think that was fantastic. Okay, they're going to have four towards middle or A now. It's going to be great for Dignitas, but then the bomb goes down. But that default plant lets them down, SK. You realize they, they've actually realized what they've done when they actually start facing the players and the disputes has come in. They can't do anything about it. There it is, 1-0 for the Danish side. We're going to round number two, a force fight. Interesting, I've needed the bomb down, Matt. This is unorthodox. 
you normally do this, you want to bring out two AKs and then some limited players with just pistols, but they've got five tech nines and fully invested with the smoke towards A, but they're not going there. It looks like they may be boosting up towards me. Oh, they wrap back oh, in. They, 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 they are. So they're going to put two smokes out, one behind Red Crate, one top highway, one at quad. The one that was countered off in front of A main is gone off, but look at config. Oh, that flash timing. Perfect position to see between the smokes. Get this position back in time. Ball's going to be dropped away from that. He knows they're in towards quad. Plays it right, but he falls away. Taco's able to find the shot. And Burr, he's got himself up into the corner to watch anyone else trying to take from the same position. So bomb plant again from SK. You're dead right, unorthodox. Trying to catch them off and use the aggression from the Tech Nines. As MSL sets to try and get more utility, and this time they are playing it. Better post play position for Pino. Tries again to find Cold Zero. Remember, first still above. Good shot from Cold. Both players, meanwhile, at default have gone down back at quad, so they have a chance for the defuse. They're going to close it out as well. Fur gets found. Exciting round there, the full execution. Did you see the flashbangs being used there as well? Just, just a wall of widescreen there. Especially for Config up and towards that ladder position as well. He finds one kill just about. The bomb goes down. It's certainly an exciting round overall, but SK can't close it out. They find a few frags and MSL doing some good work here. Finds both players towards the quad. That's pretty much the difference maker at that point. And not really much further to do towards the end of that round. They do make sure they get the bomb down, so they do get guns going to the next round, so not all is lost at this point. So definitely an interesting force buy, but uh, this point, if they had just been quiet in the previous round, for the bomb, we could have had AKs now. Now it's going to be more of the same. It's going to have a couple of deagles this time, no nades, and it should be just a case of Dignitas maybe losing one or two kills, but ultimately running away on this round. Pick up from Config to get aggressive in toward him in. It's not before Fur could find Volda, who tried to do the same. You know, spotted up as well. It's going to take a bit of damage through the very thin wall at mid connector. Still his position entirely. He's not getting aggressive to try and get information with a fast peek, but he's still sitting there to make sure they can't push down inside of mid. Now he gets the information that Fox has pushed in with the Deagle. He'll change his plans and go back to the mid garage instead. Well, equal situation for now. They are getting a little bit of mid control as well. Cold Zero with the Desert Eagle in hand. Problem is now, yes, they have mid control, but where do you really go with it? With the no nades, you can't really smoke off towards anywhere. It's where they go towards B, they can't smoke Heaven or CD Spawn. If they go A, they can't really isolate towards CD Spawn or anything like that. There's such an advantage to have a Dignitas when you have these M4s in hand. Okay, maybe not. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Not when a Deagle hits a shot like that, Paul, yeah. and giving them the man advantage to work with door shot MSL. To be fair, Config looked like he got aggressive there towards main, so... MSL has got a bit of problems here. Good smoke choice to go toward a main, but they just distracted, so they'll walk in anyway. Good entrance from Taco. But Cajun B, importantly, finds the one player that's carrying the bomb, and they've got to go back into the open to get it. And picked up one M4 in the hands of Taco, the but he didn't get it. He couldn't cross all the way over. 14 HP. He doesn't want to go again. Instead, he's going to try and elevate himself to find a favorable position. And Rubino, he's rotated in in the meantime. The player that could save all of this would have been a flank down mid in the form of Cold Zero. He's gone, he made it stand, they go back out, they need that bomb. If they had that bomb, this is planted ages ago, and now it's just going to fall apart. Fox, oh. okay, let's find one headshot over top of the truck, but he's on 11 HP. Last in this is going to go down at the hands of Cajun. Lovely word there from Cajun, looked like a round almost destined to be SKs at that point. They find the entry frags on the A bomb site there. Like we said, didn't have the smokes, but the problem is Cajun finds that one kill. The bomb goes down towards Forklift, and it's a nightmare situation. Now they try to recover it, one player goes down to 14. They wait for the teammates to rotate it as well, but the CTs have repositioned himself. Both of them watching the bomb. Not really much else they could do about it. It was a really nice attempt there, but it's got a little bit unlucky with that bomb drop. So we go into the first gun round here, and it will be Dignitas. A little bit stretched for cash. It's been some close rounds here, closer than they would have liked. So they do get M4s, but uh, certainly limited in terms of utility. Five AKs for SK Gaming. They're fully equipped in terms of grenades as well. No initial aggression coming in just yet. You can see the CTs potentially going for the boost here. I think I can see Convic going up a Valda. He'll be the one going up to be in a strong position. I actually like this a lot. You don't see it that often these days, but it's starting to come back into fashion, it seems. He's good for normally one or two kills if they don't check it, especially on the full execution. Just get overlooked sometimes. From Fur to make sure no one's pushed back in toward A main. Vol is boosted. Push down toward Highway from Fox to push anyone back on White Box, give him more confidence to peek out toward mid connector. Rubino again playing a very passive position there, so he's going to give the middle but not let them charge through to the connection points either Vents to B or Highway onto A for free. He still wants to fight. He's calculated his, his aggression as Fox starts to lead the charge with Fur. Along the wall, smoke out in front of them. Watch for Taco as well at the door because if they do get Valda cornered into that position and Config is found, there's a chance that there's not much escape for the Dignitas players inside of this site. Send Fox first. And 
He's already looking at it. He's already checking it. Does he check all the way in? It's one of those angles where you could easily think to yourself, yeah, that's checked, and overlook it. Still considering it. Fox goes. He's got to watch because he goes to report. That good turn back goes down with the information related time. That's all he has to do on the entry and that obligation with those positions set up because look at the trades. SK get his result. The bomb's going to go down at the hands of Fallen inside a default. No Molotov to deny. He smokes out as well to the highway. He has a connector to truck. Good shot through them though from Cajun B. A chance here to pick this up. It seems they have got extremely limited potential in terms of just having one smoke here, one kit. Still three kills to find as well. Time ticking away. Attack about to deploy the flashbang as well. Fallen could strike with his flash going in. There it is. Perfectly timed and he picks up two frags as well. Lovely work from Fallen and Cold Zero finishes things off. SK Gaming arrive now on cash, find their first round. You can see how limited English has were after losing so many frags in the first three. Yes, they're winning them, but going down to like two on two situations each and every time. And that flashbang coming in from quite as well, fallen strikes perfectly. And there it is. Dignitas might be on an eco, you know. I think they actually are. It's going to be Deagles, CZ. It's a force buy for sure with a UMP chucked in there for good measure. But let's remember, this is Dignitas with a mercenary themselves. So. Nothing's going to really be perfect for either side. It's actually quite an interesting proposition. We have seen them play earlier in the tournament as well. Dignitas completely stomped them, but uh, I think this series is going to be a very interesting one. Maybe the one that boosts it up, he'll start to charge off. Put Molotov down below the boost position, and he spawns at White Crate as well. And MSL's already there. Three in mid, good shot. I like that he goes first on these T-sides to start off. They can use the information. Everyone else knows how to communicate with each other. He might as well go get what he can. Finds two and goes down, but it's good work in mid because they've got the information that they're trying to play. A heavy mid presence based on rotations with only likely one in the site. Vault is the one to get on the highway. All they have to do now is just deal with the fact that that Deagle and Kong fakes hands could be a problem behind. Quad, he does pick up one as well. So now with the rotation, it could get interesting, but Cold's there to save the day. Yeah, that should be the round. Just poor occasion B coming for the connector. Does get taken down by Cold Zera. Two rounds in a row for SK Gaming now, and that's surely going to break the economy fully now. Dignitas. They tried to force by in the previous round. They got two kills, but ultimately looked quite comfortable for SK. It was Fox getting boosted up, doing some good work with the AK 47 towards mid. Found two kills. He went down to the UMP, but that's information gathered, and his teammates going towards the A side. It was a pretty simple procedure at that point. So. We do have second stage loss bonus now for the CTs. Presumably going to be third. They're not going to invest a single penny into this round. Oh, there it is before I can even finish out. Valve buys a PD50, but that's not really much at all. That's going to be a five man push towards the B storage area. Cold Zero looking at his big spray down, but it's nothing. Cajun B gets the better of him. That's going to give them a gun right away as well. So they get the AK onto MSL. But at this point, though, you're just going to think, well, straight towards A. He spotted everyone, right? Well, importantly as well, but save that AK, I, I, I'd be carrying that over. To get an AWP out, more utility. It's not a tradable position, but you're right. Good response from SK, immediately going to the A side. Bomb goes down, and I think exactly that. They've already got that AK-47 in the hands of MSL backing away toward mid-garage. Nice. Very much assume that's going to group up with the rest of his teammates, and they'll just look for exits. I say that, and they're actually going to get aggressive for exits rather than waiting. So either way, concede the round, but AK is the goal. And if they can get more kills and get more guns, they'll be better. Well, smartly, SK responds to that too and says, okay, we've already spotted you behind us. We'll go out through your spawn. So they don't want to take any fights. There's no real reason to, right? They're, they're the ones who've got the weapon who need to lose. They, they know that AK's been given away somewhere on the map. You can see them actually just strong harvesting together, making sure it doesn't get given away. It doesn't make some kills as well, but MSL does save the AK-47. does actually do a world of good going into this round and actually start Starting to build the bank balance up once again. That's going to be three in a row for SK Gaming here. And we'll see what they can do. Another gun round. No orbs purchase for either side. Still see SK get... Sorry, Dignitas actually struggling a little bit here. They've got one kit, no orb, and no incendiary. Okay, never self from a Molotov. So they can defend a fast mid push, but that's just depending whether he actually goes towards that position. He's actually heading towards B. So if a fast mid attack comes in, it's going to be problematic for Dignitas here. So let's come in. Maybe Cajun going to be boosted up here. Courtesy of Rubino. Agent's in prime position, no one watching this as well. Down he goes, in behind already. Taco's down. No. It doesn't even matter that the flanks have because Fault is yeah. on the other side of it. Fallen's going to be anticipating a push through in that position, so good intentions, no results for it. If he had gone to the right, maybe better chance. This fur is going to compensate by taking back Rubino. It goes to four on four. That's actually kind of interesting that it was that successful of a boost. Perfect timing.
And then they just converge and meet in the same end point, so it doesn't even matter. Exactly. Well, still four on four, so the chance for well, Dignitas to do something with this. Config, one of the star players with Dignitas, trying to do what he can from the connector area there. Doesn't really land a significant amount of damage just yet, but Cajun B going to be flashed in. They know they're up against him now. You can see only one smoke, one flashbang. Cajun B strikes towards Fox, and gives him the man advantage. Something to work with. I think we have that same boost towards the A side once again. B Valder, he did get detected before. They're trying to check it. He got one kill before he was taken down. And it looks like it could be an A-sided attack once again with 45 seconds remaining. Cold Zero holding towards Highway, waiting for his teammates to potentially take that attention away from him when he goes up there, or he could hold for rotations as well. Cajun's been so far back. Hold up. Playing to watch Highway as a result of this. Let's get back into the corner once the smoke dissolves because that leaves him open. It means you can see. Remember, we saw Fox the first time trying to see all the way to the corner. You can't see this position until you're committed. Without any further, you can. Quick little free fire ball. He takes it to his advantage, though. Doesn't sit to think they'll overlook. Goes for the fight. Cold's able to trade it, but that brings Cajun back into the fold, and he's got the shot on Cold. It's going to be Fur versus three with Bomb. Cajun's close enough that he's going to try and bait him in. Nicely done from Fur. Five seconds. He's got to get on it. Did he get there in time? Yeah, he did. Late click, I think, just barely. And Bomb goes down, Flash comes in, they're both on top of him too quickly to escape. Nice play there from Fur, there's times of the perfection as well, that fake plant coming in, baits out the CD player waiting for him and takes him down, gets the Bomb plant in, that's probably as good as it's good again, that three versus one, but he makes the most of it, a difficult round there for Dignitas, but Cajun B rising to the occasion there towards Highway, actually to get that really important kill towards Fox and give them the advantage to work with there. Cold Zero waiting towards Highway, can't really do much with it. These are the initial frags coming in from SK and the bomb plant coming in as well. That was nice work from Fur Config to finish things off. We'll have a look at the money for either side. I think we have the orb coming in for Fallen at this point. He still is the primary orb. Obviously, Fox has been synonymous with the orb in times in some of the lineups he's had before, but he's certainly the secondary orb. I don't think he can really dethrone Fallen that easily coming into this lineup, of course, he Oh, tries to fire into that smoke. Doesn't even have the lineup to the site just yet. Chance for the Config gets aggressive on the other side of this to make up for it, though. Careful, teammate. Spray through. He's on the left side. As Valda was trying to put some damage in as well to make sure he wasn't going to get pushed up close. Not sure his intentions in doing so, but Cajun, meanwhile, is already back away inside of the checker room. Taco. Games of pre-fires and sprays all over the map as everyone jostles for position early on and this might be the one that changes it as config starts to walk in on his own through the smoke late to get out of the boxes in the corner at a main flash from Valda turn around already there no one here but this oh. means he's got it established he can, oh, I'd love to see him just go quietly toward lockers in that case well what kind of, he's got no nades left now he can't really stay for too long uh, at that point so like he can have a smoke it out normally but he doesn't have that sort of option here towards mid we go for escape config has picked up a ton of information Rubino no WP towards that mid position. He can't, not really much he can do. Can't really justify really going super aggressive, but a missed smoke from SK gives him a chance to actually maybe do something with this. Big nade though, that should actually send him back. First starting to head over with the AWP. This will be back to the position where they could have occupied. Well, as you say, no nades. They've already backed away from it. Rubino gets toward the truck instead. M4 from distance with 54 HP to try and hit shots. He's one of the two kits in play as well. So if he goes down at truck, watch for the rotation to come from that direction. Good position config. He'll take Taco out. Flash comes in though and Volda can't convert. It's going to have to be config to step up. Finds a second. MSL's there to support. Fallen okay. as we snap to him. It's actually <laughs> cold zero. They got two with one bullet. A bit confusing with the observer snapping over as it did, but it was Fallen. He was there nonetheless. He's going to make his way onto quad with Bomb now down. Rubino hasn't moved. He stayed here because he was smoked and flashed off. There was nothing much he could do in this situation. He's still the only kid up in this position, but he's going to wait for Cajun to try and get his way into Ward A main late. And if he gets here in the next 5 to 10 seconds and finds a kill, there's a chance they go. So Rubino starts to position, but he is caught off. Cold in the open. Cajun again, no kit, has to try and make this work in the ground. He's position for it. They read that so well, SK, and it's going to go to 4 4. What a recovery that was from the Brazilians there. Looks like Dignitas has had that round tied up at that point towards the A side. Convey doing some tremendous work there, but Cold Zero coming out of A main. Here's the replay right now. We thought it was a, a, a one ball from coming in from um, the AWP of Fallen there, but it's Cold Zero picking up two. And the round at that point, very difficult for the CDs to do anything with. They were separated. Cajun B coming in from the long flank. Not really much his teammate Rubino to do from CT spawn at that point. They're very limited. And the economy once again has been broken for the Danes. 
PD-15s, Desert Eagles, and USPs is going to be the first kill. Going in favor of Fur, though, five on four. You can see the CD's really, sorry, you can see SK reading the economy quite nicely with two Mac-10s here, and they should just be able to hold up, farm a little bit of money with those, and actually, Colter uh, tries just that. I guess punished that 14 HP for him. Backs away smartly, so Fur is pumped with an op in his hands. Not something we commonly see. It's going to be on 20 HP. The AK-47 get a little bit more aggressive as they start to walk up, but Fur's gonna make good use of the AWP. Finds Volda pushing through. Fox will find Cajun B. I'm sure Lurpus is keeping track of how many kills that is from Fox. He's up to four. I'm sure he is. Well, then, in terms of cost credits right now, that's gonna be stage two for Dignitat. I don't really think they can justify buying it for this round. You know, they've got maybe 4K average across the board there for the CT side. That's not really enough to purchase with. If it would, if they would do that, it's gonna be a very ropey buy indeed. I think it's just more of a partial mentality here. CZs, Deagles, maybe some body armor as well. They rushed B before, managed to get a couple of kills. I don't think you can rely on that every single time. Maybe a stack towards A. Hope you can have one player towards middle, trying to funnel them towards the A side. That's it's a really difficult procedure here on the CD side when you're on a little bit of a partial by here. You have to hope these one digs really deliver. And myself really playing with that sort of weapon. Most up from Fox again to let him go first. Aggressive as well. Smoke soft needs to be considered of the corner. But no one there. It's going to be a push instead over toward being cold this time. Better weapon room for a range fight. Tip to find the first and second kill as MSL will go down. So I'll go next in line. Go into combat. Able to dodge the flash. They oh. don't think he's quite so lucky in doing so, but they actually get in and take advantage on the less good nade. That might bounce into the corner. Just does get close enough to take down Rubino. Leaving just Volda. Indeed. Will he be heroic? Um, that's good, but I don't think he will. Thanks, Henry. Yeah. Have you been sitting on that one for a while? I did. I do notice he's wearing a jersey. Obviously, he took his teammate's jersey for his press photo, but I mean, SK was able to get Fox's jersey on stage, and Volda's in a gray t shirt, so. But Fox is a free agent, so... All right, and he's staying in the team a little bit longer. I get it. Yeah. I'm just saying. Step it up, Dignitas. Well then, Varda. Let's see what you've got. You're the CT in the squeaky door. Could do something with this. A bomb will be coming in that area. He could find one and kill. They're trying to hunt him down rather than go for the fast plant. But him closing the door, I'm surprised they don't... Was it him or was it the other side of the player jumping by? I'm not 100% sure. I think he clicked it, not Fox on his way by, because that should give it away. Yeah, very smart plant, way back towards CT. Yeah, not really much you can do about this. He's just hoping to make some frags at this point. So this is uh, not really much point trying to hype this one up. You can see they have some awareness that he might be in towards that squeaky door. It's bound from shots through them. And uh, Valda, they will be buying him next round. It's been a rough ride in terms of the economy. That's a little, lovely little black oh, Could find a kill there. Nice intention there, but... Doesn't get anything for it. The buy comes in. I'm sure we're going to see the orb now for Dignitas. It's about time that was brought out. Normally in the hands of Cajun B. It's config that might have to buy it for him, though. Will he bring it out? Yet to be seen. Come on. Surely it's coming. No. They, did, they thought You're about wrong. it for a long time. You're super wrong, Henry. Well, the, the money's been a big problem for them throughout this game. So I guess they just want to have the utility to work with, not have one player limited. So they're going to have five M4s, all the names required this time, but still the orphan hands have fallen. Needs no introduction to how good it is with that weapon. But MSL, a little bit aggressive here towards B storage. Even that smoke too. Then we look at the smoke control. Rubino goes down first once again. I think that's towards mid. Maybe they're trying to boost once more. Is he cage to be by his teammate's corpse at that point? He's gone down to 41 HP as well. MSL backs away. Smoke still in front. Good nade. Placed. It's cold down to 74 early. Remember, any damage done by nade into that range, that threshold is good when you're on an M4. Yeah, occasion. Decides to get the hell out of that mid position. Shoots the fence out, obviously gives the position away, but that's better off than uh, being dead. Trying to hold that by yourself. Config pushed very close to the same main position. Smoking. Oh, MSL, full blind. Can't take advantage of Fallen. Tries to back away. Noise he's in that corner, but can't land the shot. He'll be able to get back inside of the smoke as well and get away with this. So that brings us back to four versus four. Config's position. He's gone back in the site, but it's allowed Volda to establish himself toward the lockers. He too is going to back away as they lose utility for that fight. Yeah, this will be a B finish for us again. You see they've actually got four smokes here, so they can smoke heaven. CT spawn on the bomb side as well if they want to. Molotov's on the site, and here it comes. But that's a real nice counter Molotov coming from the CTs. That delays them at least, but they still will be committing. MSL. First sight of vision toward Checker. Has Cajun hugging underneath in hell and config to pop up when the information arrives. They want them to commit. They want them in the open. Wide peaks all the way through. Ty Lu has to draw them in, take the kills, but they've got to get the kills. Taco finds the first on config. Fur finds the second on Cajun B. It's now just MSL remaining, but he finds Taco on low HP in hell. And it's going to bring it to Fox to rotate 12 seconds to grab a bomb and find two kills. 
Can't land the first on the first shot. That might have been What's enough, but doing? he's actually got it. There's no need to peek from Volta. He's actually got a chance here. Four seconds. He's trying to bait him the wrong way. Nearly gets it in MSL. Just barely holds on. That did not need to get that close at all. There's eight seconds remaining. Why the hell is he facing at that point? It's a two versus one. Make him plan. You can sacrifice a play on the bomb site and then take him down. Like when you have one, have no time to plan as well to stay alive as long as possible. That was a nuts decision from Valda, but no harm, no foul, I guess, at this point. It's absolutely fine if they win the round, but didn't have to be that tense. MSL doing a great job here. Let's remember as well, he would push aggressively to take down Fallen with the AWP and ends up with three frags as well. So good work from him. On the screen right now as we go into round number 12. The problem is, like I said before, the money's been a problem for Dignitas here. He keeps having these very tense rounds here. This looks like a set piece from SK Gaming. Five players committed towards A, four of them doing smokes. We saw it before in that second round force fight. They're going to be doing all the flashbacks, presumably, and making this absolute hell on earth for the CD's defending. Look how many smokes rain in. The flash is becoming momentary. This is the adjustment, though. This is what I was talking about before. This is what I was expecting to see in that second round. They actually opt to go back towards middle, and Taco finds a kill on the A side as well. This could be perfect in terms of pulling the CDs over to the A side. Taco tries to move them and spray through to catch damage. Two dead right, full adjustment in, in place for them. It's Taco that's going to be allowing Fold actually to slip up. He's already on top of the crate. He's going to be in the open. Fox is able to find a kill. Fold was primed and ready, and Fur is going to wrap around to find Valda. They've got sight to their name. Bomb has been an AWP on Cajun. This time, remember you said last time they had the money to buy it. But they yeah, he's only got 150 left over. Yeah. MSL's got Safety 50 guns. guns. Yep. This is what they can do. That was a real nice adaption of that strategy. We, we've seen it before in that second round, like I said, and they actually fully committed towards the A main entrance. This time, they boost up towards middle. So when the CDs are expecting them to come out all out A main, they're focusing on that area. Everyone's coming up towards highway, and it's completely throwing a spanner in the works there. Very interesting the way SK have got these different variations of it. Very nicely done, and the execution was just spot on there as we do take this 4-2 situation. The CDs is desperately trying to hold on to these weapons. It will be 7-5, but Dignitas now on a full reset. They need to save this orb, and it might not actually happen, you know. KGB is cowering at the back of the B side. Players hunting him down. We're not going to see. I'll tell you what's going on. MSL does find Fallen, but they do manage to keep their guns. That's the important aspect, especially the AWP on Cajun. 2,300 for Valdit, 18 and 14 for Config and Rubino, so the chances of trying to buy in. Aside from, okay, so they do go for the UMP on Valda. I thought I was going to say aside from pistols. Not great, but they able to get our armor onto Valda, which does benefit it slightly. And it's two kits saved over and one bought up from Config, so three in the play overall. And they're going to split it out very straightforward. Not as much aggression on A early on, but the fast drop in from Cajun because he had a decent spawn will at least confirm there's no fast play on B. Old that's been playing it. Get right now. In this position, oh. nearly gets caught off because that Molotov thrown tries to take advantage of it. This KGB, but now the AWP is down and Fallen taking MSL is going to back them into the sights dearly. Five on three. Cajun trying to make a pick happen. He had to step up and Valve presumably going to get his blown off as well. It's Cold Zera. Great end name of the AK 47. Yeah, Cold's super smart. He can sit there even if his team wants to go elsewhere on those picks because he wants to guard the AWP. He doesn't want them to get any chance of grabbing that again. And they try and go for it. He finds another kill. They're just going to babysit it. They get everyone for it as well. Very smart knowing the money situation. To be fair to Cajun, he had to make something happen there. They've got, what, one M4, three pistols, and an AWP. Like, he has to push B sword. He has to make something happen there. Unfortunately, Cold Zera, one of the absolute best players in the game right now completely punishes him at the start like you said Cold Zero is patrolling the AWP making sure none of the cities can pick it up and he ends up just completely wiping the floor there with Dignitas it's going to be 8-5 and I, I was about to say maybe the pause can be this point it feels like a kind of a moment for a pause right after so many rounds for SK but it's going to be another fully Kevin Alpha Dignitas that force fight didn't really work out for them Four USPs, a PD50, and just that's in the hands of MSL. So this is almost certainly going to be 9-5. And this is SK's pick, remember, but they are putting on a pretty strong form so far. In the group stage, we did see this lineup play against Dignitas, and they got absolutely battered. And they're uh, giving a much better showing this time. So bags covered off. Molotov now throwing toward the connector as well. It's just going to be the box to watch, and Fox and Fur will combine to do so. Kills to pick up to take back middle. Pistol's not amounting to anything this time around. We have had some excitement in this game, but excitement means someone's catching a team off sleeping or not really checking things as they should do in these situations. Right now, SK is doing it perfectly. Oh, no end with all five alive for their efforts. So 9-5, we head to round 15. 
And there's enough money to buy in, but not enough for the AWP it, for Cajun B. It's a little bit strange, isn't it? Like, Cajun B, like we've been talking about this tournament, like the primary open up for Dignitas, he's only really had it once, and that was from a previous save round, and it hasn't really got rolling with that weapon whatsoever. It's been in the M4s that Dignitas has been winning the majority of their rounds here, but it's number 15, and then Wolf either side this time. Forward, not going to be picking up the weapon, certainly at the money, too. You can see on his screen right now, most of the players on a 10k. They're going to go for maybe another set piece here, considering that scenario. He doesn't pick up the orb, they want to have more execution base play. It's been working out very nicely for them, so why not? Maybe a boost once more for the CTs. I think we have got one bolt into the first round. KGB is going up, but jumping in the fire, be careful! That's not Ooh. the right play to make. He goes for it either way. They're not going to expect it because of the flames. So he does find the shot on a fox ball in there to trade it back. One for one that leaves still SK the man down. And MSL... Position, but Cold <laughs> searching about and finds it. He's been reading them very well in this position in B tunnels. In fact, goes immediately in knowing he's been playing their solo. They found the kill at middle. Chances are the boost in mid. Oh B's the site that's solo and cold. That is a perfect read. Goes in and finds config rotating. You know the CT's probably gonna have kits or nades, they're gonna have to have their knives out, get there very quickly. Peaks at the perfect time. Config completely punished for that one. Cold zone is manhandling Dignitas right now. Three on two, no kids, no nades. Okay, I beg your pardon, incendiary, but to be honest, that's not gonna be that much help in this scenario. We'll see what they can do here. Edge in, try and find one kill. Needs to be finding them in the next two or three seconds to so even have a chance at this one. And Vald on eight. It's going to be a massive problem in all of this. They're going to go. It's round 15. They have to. Pops out, does get taken down. So it gives them a chance at the entry, but Fallen's there. Shuffles around, then it's Vald the fall lasts at 10-5 for SKT side. Again, 9-6 seems to be more the average that we're used to on this map. So it's not anything to be worried of yet for Dignitas, but I can say they utilize Fox well. They send him in early in multiple occasions. He's up to 11 kills, keeping up with anyone else on the team at this point in time. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's not like he's um, been influential in some of the big rounds, I would say, but he has been keeping up and uh, doing his job and just making sure he slots into the team, and that's absolutely fine. It's a good showing from SK Gaming so far. 10-5, double figures in the first half. Much better than when we first saw this matchup happen earlier in the tournament. So, second half, I'd say Dignitas really want to win this pistol. It's been a bit of rough showing for them in that CD half. So what's the buy they're going for here? Four sets of armor and uh, one utility player in the form of Vald as well. It's going to be actually heavy B presence as most teams will favor that on cash. I mean, you're almost guaranteed a bomb plant down going down as well. If you can smoke towards CD spawn, that could be great. But Fur, he's getting a lot of intel towards that A main entrance. And Config, though, he's in towards Squeaky Door. This could be a little bit of a fake from him. Try and find one kill and hold the rotations off for a while. Config. Times his flash door opening, tries to capitalize as well by shooting out toward top highway. Then backs away, realizing that he's not got yeah. much of an opportunity on that Glock, but he's the salesman. He wants him to go over toward B. Cold Zirith does as well because he's prime ready, so to his box. He finds a kill. Cold gets two headshots on the way by. And Fox has information they're closer as MSL wraps around. He's got low HP. And Cold's gonna collect him as well. Three kills in total for him. Fur finds config to rotate back around and it's SK with 11 rounds. Pretty weak pistol there from Dignitas. I think after Convict failed so badly actually doing anything towards the A side, I don't think you have to come into that point. It's had a plenty of time. Could just readjust the situation and actually just go back and think, okay, this is actually pretty obvious now. Either the CT's had vision towards A main, it's all Convict were just trying to do something towards A. It was so obvious as well. The player in A main, you could actually hear him actually running back to his teammates and Fox and Cold Zero. They shut it down. Tag team combo didn't drop a single frag there. So no bomb going down, but no force by from Dignitas necessarily. Again, five Deagles and two sets of armor, but most teams do force by fully into the second round. Look into the future perhaps, and Taco not wasting any time here. He goes straight into towards A main, aggressive towards the locker position. Good shot, Fox. Okay. <laughs> find him a cell. Keep in mind, we talked about Fox, you know, again, slotting in, not really doing anything crazy, but slotting in well in the first half. It was the CT side that was a struggle for them on overpass yesterday. We'll see if that seems to be the case here. But playing with Cold Zero, as I mentioned, had to be the superstar, has stepped up. He's on 20 kills. They're playing together with B site combined. They have 32. As Fallen will take down Cajun B, responding to the fact that Fur fell just before, but it's all going to be on these SMGs to find the remaining Deagles and armor. Long for Rubino, but trying to get toward the A site. It's already got a closed door and Fallen rotating over. Still, four on three in favor of the CTs. No nades at all for Dignitas. Is hoping for these magical one digs to deliver at this point. Still could find a couple of kills here. There we go. Rubino gets one. Now three on three. Good shot to start off. Him outside of quad as well. Plant position is falling not in a prime location to shut it down. They're gonna get there now, but Cold does wrap it from truck. That'll make things a little more awkward. Has to go to the pistol. Can't quite close it out with the ammo inside of the magazine. The fallen will as they get shuffled back over to the right. Only 12. Four to go for SK. 
Yeah. No bomb plant in that round means they've got to wait one more on the T side. Yeah, they have to fully get this one. No bomb, you're absolutely right there. So it wasn't necessarily a full force buy there. They've got Deagles, sure. A couple of sets of body armor, but kept the investment pretty light in that sense. So this will be an eco. Rubino, he's got to kill all the pistols so he can get a tech time. But um, overall, just trying to get the bomb down. That's all Duke has really can hope for going for this round. SK Gaming with three UMPs. They normally actually buy five of those. They're actually one of the few teams in the world that does that. It's kind of weird, but it does work for them to be fair. So let's see what Dignitas can do here in round number 18. Rushing A, it seems three in squeaky door. Two main flash out. Hope for the best, boys. You're going in. Well, that was forced off that quite quickly. He's got fur beside him. Both waiting for the opportunity to see the plant. It may not matter so much this time because they'll buy next round regardless. Could serve to give them a bit more utility, but they saved quite well in this one. Good need. Trickles beyond the steps of Alda, though, and I didn't really damage to him, surprisingly. It must have just clipped the edge of the default position, those white, I don't know what you want to call them, ballers that are inside of the stack, but it's either way, it's going to be Fox to take down Balder. Like the shot started off, and he's got two. As he starts to walk back in, a third through the smoke as well. Fox looking lively. First going to check behind Quad, realize there's two there. And around the corner, Fallen will clean them out entirely, and the defuse will come in. So 13 rounds as expected. And it's Fox on the way back in that does most of the work. Yeah, Fox and just talking about his impact there. It was actually a very hairy round there for SK Gaming overall. It's a five on five of the bomb planted after about 10 seconds as well. They couldn't really find the kills there. He goes into the site and steps up. There's the replay right now. Not the most glorious frags, but just tremendous work. That first one fully flashed as well. And he finds a one through the smoke. This is the important one. This pretty much secures the round for his teammates. Config left at the end of the clock towards Quad. Can't really do too much about it. But 13-5 comes in. Decent money overall for Dignitas to get two bombs in a row. But uh, obviously didn't force in the second round. So he can't have the option for the AWP for sure. Occasion be sat on $6,200. There is a pause coming in. I would assume it's Dignitas tactical. Yes, it is. So I think Cajun B, like I said, haven't really seen too much from the Orb. Now he has a lot of money to do it. Do it. Fallen. Yep. Well, I was about to say Fallen brings the Orb. Actually, Fox is going to be having a go. Uh, you know what? I don't mind it. The fact that they go on to cash, like we said, it's not a map they play that often. Fox is quite good on it. So I think sure. maybe that might be an internal decision. Okay, let's try this. Let's play it. Fox is going to be comfortable. He's going to be more confident. Raise his confidence a little bit, right? Exactly. And yeah. he is good on the AWP. Now, you wouldn't have expected him to take that away from Fallen. But if they're going to take the risk, why not say, okay, you lead the way, you I take it. In this sort of scenario as well, they're pretty much locked in to win this map. So I'd like to kind of say, well, like, let's, we've seen some weird uh, things okay, today. I, I said that with a pinch of salt, right? But like at this point, you're just trying to, like, okay, look, we have, we have our confidence in you. You should pick up the orb this time. Let's just show us what you can do. With it. Obviously, they're probably making him feel quite good about himself and like show him what he can do with this weapon. He hasn't had much time. <laughs> you make it sound like he needs a bat on the back. Well, no, it's just like, you know, it's been a bit of a rough ride from this tournament. I'm just trying to, like, they're trying to like build him into this series and like show him he's no, actually welcome, right? I get what you're saying. It was just. The phrasing of it. Yeah. Don't there we it. go. So there it is. He starts it off well with config down. When they swapped him onto the main op in phase as well and took it out of the hands of Michael Lely, same thing. I thought he really did come to life in that lineup. Now, he may not have been god mode all of the time and inconsistent. You can have your own opinions, but he definitely did have games of brilliance. And I, I, I do admire the fact that they are going to let him be the opera on this map because the rest of them can support well enough off this. He opens things up with a nice shot towards Config as well. One of the biggest scalps to take on Dignitas, the star player for sure. Cold Zera chimes in as well towards the mid entrance, takes down Cajun B. This is actually falling apart for Dignitas. The wolves on the other foot here. Chance of to get the kill back, but they get a lot of damage and can't find the kill there. So still a five on three about. There's no real reason to hold this, to hold one on the CD. They can fall back to the bomb side. This sort of advantage, you don't need to challenge at all. Allow the terrorists to commit and potentially make mistakes. And you don't really need to give anything away. We saw a lot of it today where players may be overfacing these kind of key situations. So Taco, Fallen, and Fur are the ones on the A side. So we're all this taking bomb, meanwhile, up toward mid. He's going to split from highway. And it works out. Finds Taco. They're not aware. They get up mid. They actually were covering that off and then gave it up, assuming that when they lost on drop, they wouldn't go back that direction. And look how much it's changed because Fallen now is on highway. Over commits to it, leaves a main open. Rubino walks out. And they're going to cross over on this. Good nade coming through, but it's going to be a little bit late to do much damage. Smoke does allow Fur to get a little bit closer, but they're already in. I can't quite see him. Oh, yeah. Late Molotov in already. Means they can't cross the quad, puts him back in a position where he's able to spot him and take him down. Still a lot to solve in this. All three have kits. Buy them some space. MSL spotted already, though, behind quad. Let's put pressure now on to Rubino, and he's able to swing out, find the first. We're not speaking just yet from him behind the forklift, but they've got a good position. They've got a good crossfire. And the call from SK is going to go for this, but how fast can they go with a UMP? And an a AWP up close. Fox already down. He's switching to the pistol to try and make it work, and Rubino holds off. Okay, then. So a five on three actually falling apart for SK there. Maybe Dignitas has got a few more rounds to go into this one. 
Looked very promising. Fox towards B store and that confident pick to kick things off there. Cold Zero finds a pick in middle. They did the right move, in my opinion. They fell back. They left middle open. That's fine. But then Dignitas finding Frag there towards the A side. Somehow make that work. And the kills just fall, about, fall apart one by one for SK. Maybe he could wait a little bit longer for the rotations to come in and got into more of a team instead of challenging the duels like that. But still, Dignitas still alive here, it seems. And Fox still on the AWP. Not towards B this time, it seems. He'll actually be going in. Oh, he is towards B. But there's three players there overall. This is an interesting. Little setup was said. He takes the first shot. Cajun B on the orb himself now towards middle. He's been boosted up. Not gonna have any confrontation just yet. No one using the incendiary, but Cold Zara towards B storage takes down Cold Fake. Fox nearly hit that first shot as well when they jumped across to B storage just before the smoke bloomed. But Khan gone. Cajun on 24. Fallen will hold off toward mid with the FAMAS and hence so they are gonna. Continue to let him play more of a rifle rotation based role, and already he's gonna do an Apex S rotation where he gives up middle, goes back toward truck, and I assume is gonna go all the way back into Z Connector rather than trying to cross over at White Box and leaves himself open. But he's actually just sitting at truck momentarily. Which, if they get to highway and start to work on the A side, he can still make himself relevant, but he's got time to get to Z, and he's just done it now, so. It is the Apex style play. Smoke in front of him, slight gap. Doesn't want to sit on it. He's just going to be passive so they can't push through and go Napoleon, divide and conquer and split the sights. This shot, that gives it away. This will be all Fallen's invitation. Knows they're on highway. Chance to walk out. Fur's going to be at the top as well. Flashes through. Fallen's popped out. He's got the first already. That divides the attention and makes it perfect for Fur. Lovely stuff there from SK. Really efficient crossfires as well. They get that first pick towards B Storage. Cold Zero is having a hell of a game here on Cash. He pushes in confidently, takes down Config, funnels them back towards that A site in the crossfire to shut down Dignitas. And after winning one round previously, they've been fully reset here, Matt. This could be the GG right now. They have to force by into this, get this round, and it'll be Tech Nines and one AK so far. And if they lose that, only $1,900 after that one. So that's going to be it. So AK in the hands of Rubino, and he's actually been the quietest frag out for Dignitas. Might want to hand it over to some location or Convict, considering he's actually not really had any impact at all, but let's see what he can do here with the AK-47. As they smoke off towards B, problem is Fox is waiting there, and he's got a little bit of a gap there with the smoke towards B storage. Fox is going to put out flames in front of that smoke and go for the drive-by on the P250 for the chance that he hits something, but gets himself in a position inside of the site instead. Yeah. He's going to Molotov that site, though. I think they'll bounce them all the way to Cold's positioning corner. It's a tough one to throw. He's going to flash himself out as a result. This team gets a scurrying position, but he's got a lineup to go down. It's falling on the second. Bomb down. And Bomb is exactly that. At his feet so smartly, he'll smoke that off. Fox, good shot, close up. Yeah, he's lost cold, though. The kills have traded back. Suddenly, it's actually a two versus two, and the players in the site down means a plant comes in for config. And he's picked up an M4 to work with. They both have armor in this situation. This is far from done. But slipping inside the site, first made good ground, then catches off config. Never knew that he was there. KGB now. Config gone is left on to just the Tech 9. Well, they're going to be sticking together at this point. Cajun B just a flash in the Tech 9, hoping for the best there. Can't really see the bombers or has to make these kills happen. And let's see whether he can make anything of this. It's a nice little headshot there. It's going to be a 1v1 now. Bomb ticking away. He might have a chance in this one. Flashes early. Flash and return. And on the defuse immediately down to three seconds. Cajun B's got to hit the shot. Steve's the nail, but just barely gets it in time. Wow. Makes it work. Gets away as well. I thought the bomb was going to detonate, so he gets an AK for that. Nice work there from KGB. I didn't realize the bomb was in the top left corner. I thought it was the default plan, but yes, that was almost perfect for him at that point. Finds that first kill on your screen right now. Lovely word to down Taco, and it stays alive, just times it to absolute perfection there. For a four to go for that absolute commitment in terms of the defuse, and then he comes in the Tech Knight very calmly as well. Taps him down, manages to finish around, finish around off. 14 7 here. And they've actually broken the economy of SK. Maybe there are a few more twists and turns here. Who knows? Zero. He's going to get himself aggressively with a deagle up toward the catwalk position. You're right, there could still be some time in this. Tongo down below P250 at fork. No potential to flash in because no flashes on SK. Picked up a bit of armor with these pistols and a kit for cold. So perhaps foresight that they at least want to get that far into the round. As such, they stay more passive, but it's no stack. Meanwhile, Tech 9 on his side. The odd man out without the gun. And without the jersey, Henry. I gotta point it out again. Yeah. Well, at this point, it's just a matter of making sure you stick together, beta any utility the CDs have, try and work out if there is a stack available. There are three players in the CDs towards middle. 
They have got a boost coming in for Dignitas, but still, that's not a huge deal. They still have a massive advantage in terms of the weaponry, right? They get a Molotov towards the vent. Fallen now, an opportunity to get the one dig, but can he deliver? Not yet. Cajun B takes him down. Shot. With that AK, it's going to be 19, jumping over. Rubino finds him. For her left inside of the site, P250. Walk by him, maybe get one on the headshot. Gets it fast enough as well. He can actually reset his aim, but it's not quite. Tags MSL to 38, Cajun was low. I like to be an optimist. Well, 48, do we have enough to buy here? Not quite yet. SK gonna bide their time. They're gonna make sure they don't throw this one away. We did see similar scenes on Nuke in our previous series as well. Lots of four spies as questionable ones. You don't need to with this sort of lead right now. Obviously, they haven't got map point yet, but still a huge advantage. You don't want to throw it away by constantly four spying your way into a defeat. So this is absolutely fine. It's the Eagles, PD50s, a CZ, and maybe something like a stack towards A. Let's try that out. It will be four players heading towards that side of the map. Do they push in with a flashbang? This could be interesting. You see the player there setting them up. It will be two players all squeaky. It's a flash for fur. Can he do anything with this? Fallen. Throw it in there. Let's go. He wants to. There it is. Fur's ready. Back turn. Doing with the deagle. Two in front, but far away. Config was ready for the flash. Turned into the wall. And the AK will let him fall. He tries to turn back as well and see them spotting through from squeaky. They know now that door's open, so Kitchen has to consider it as they rush back. Molotov will hold them off as they walk up highway. It's often at Molotov you see a CT throw to hold off the terrorists. But reverse effects this time, and Taco's found last. It's nine rounds, five the difference, but SK back to weapons this time around. And do they do it again? Fox on the AWP, perhaps 6200. I think they're discussing it internally. It's going to be Fallen that buys it. Do they go two? Yep, there it is. First time we're going to see the double op. Well, oh, that's Fox and Fallen. Normally Fallen and Cold Zero, but... Uh you have to adjust sometimes. It's going to be Fox replacing FNX, and he is a secondary author by nature, I'd say. So this does make sense overall. It's what we're discussing in the pregame. It kind of changes the whole lineup across the map. We've only had three days to practice. They have to make a lot of adjustments here to fit him into the lineup. Let's see whether they can close this game out. No orb available for Dignitas. It will be a, a default for now, but no one towards B store. That suggests they'll be doing a little bit quicker than usual. Those are the smokes towards mid. Take away the vision from CT towards Connector and Highway. You can see Fallen struggling a little bit. You still see the vent for now. But maybe an A-sided attack coming in as MSL starts to lug towards mid. With a teammate with Rubino as well. Cross smokes were there. Slight gap on the right side. Fallen can't find anything yet. And they might get forward enough of this. Smokes dissolve. They're on the way. But look at Fur. He's got two already. Three as they wrap around. That's two for me, main. One from the squeaky door. Bomb gets dropped inside. But Fallen goes passive. Means MSL is able to advance up the highway. Good flash. Can I put them out of position? But immediately Cold gets there. And Rubino tries to go aggressive toward two. Fur closes out with four kills in the round. He stepped up on this CT side as well, because we mentioned Colt was on 20 kills in the second round of this half. He's on 25, and Fur's right behind him. Here's the replay, playing from that MPK position. Finds three kills. Everyone's running into his cross at that point. No one seems to be checking it. Round four's Barber Dignitas, and we have got map points here. This is SK's pick, remember. We do move on to Mirage next, but Dignitas. Still with a lot of money available. Going to take six in a row, though, to take us just to overtime here. So let's see if they can hold on. Still that double orb set up. Still rolling strong for Fox and Fallen. Fox towards B. Maybe looking to get a little bit aggressive here. Gets flashed towards B storage. Pushing in. Wants to find this first pick. If he does it, that's a great asset for his team. Legs Ooh. the players. Could be KGB going down to 15 HP. It's so frustrating to leg someone. I guess it's good damage, but you have to give away. You can't go for the pistol. You can't go for the swap because you don't know what else is around the corner and he makes the right call. Speaking of calls, it's going to be more mid-pressure because Fur is able to rotate down highway given that they boosted Taco. So we saw them try and do this with Volda in the first half from Dignitas' approach. SK, this is the first time they've tried it. As of right now, it doesn't look like A is going to be the name of the game, but that could still serve to change and again the position, even if they don't go that direction, is still good because it brings Fur down to exactly this. Spray through, no tracers on the silencer, gives some damage in and fallen. He finds MSL. Not only that, Cold knows the crisscross smokes are in place. He's waiting. Lots of noise. Just time it, time it to perfection. Down they go. Two kills for him and two just remain now to try and keep this alive. SK. Christian Cash, considering it's been a map that's haunted them in the past, but with Fox on board, they seem to have found a winning formula on it. As Config tries to do what he can, backing away with an AWP inside B-Halls. Meanwhile, Valda's actually got good position here. They need to be ready for it. I think Fallen is. Yeah, he's definitely oh. looking the right direction. Find bomb. That'll do it. Config. Try as you might. Gets two kills quickly. Spots him as Knows well. exactly where Fur is in the corner. Fallen's not in a position to play off this. In fact, he's rotating in behind. This could work out. He's going to find a third. Bomb's left open 13 seconds, though. He's got to grab that, turn around, and get to B. 
And in the time that he does so, Taco's relocated himself. The config's still looking. If he pulls this off... On it. Very smart. Two seconds. He's got it down. Taco doesn't want to peek because he wants to make sure that it's going to be planted. If he waits and it expires, he doesn't even have to do anything to win the round, but Config has no idea which direction Taco is going to be. Given that the bomb was wide open and he pushed through CT, is he going to rotate over from A? Is he going to come from mid or is he going to come exactly this direction? Nearly finds it, but it's game over. Taco will close it. Best efforts from Config, I have to say. Beautiful stuff there from Config. Really, really well played. Unfortunately, can't get the final kill. It might still even have won the round. It wouldn't have really mattered too much. He felt like Esco would have closed that out eventually. Strong performance from them. It's probably the best we've seen him play in this tournament so far. It seems like Cash is actually where Fox fits in quite nicely to this lineup. 